Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the Shark Geek. I believe this is actually the Storm, the full size one. We've taken a look at the Slim one in the past, which is the smaller version. And today we're going to be checking out the larger version. So there's the user manual, the bank itself, which is a chonky boy. So I'm interested to see that this one has a capacity of 2,506 milliamp hour, or sorry, 26,000, 25,000. So we crack the sucker open. And you have the Storm 2 which is a much larger version. You can see here the differences that's slightly larger. You have one that's this one's much thicker. Also in addition, you have regular DC in out, USB C in or out, USB A out. So you've got a lot more charging options at least when it comes to charging this sucker too. But yeah, no. So you you can turn this on. Let's see if it's charged. And you get this unique little screen that goes on the top here. So this has got 76% charge. You've got pretty much all the standard stuff that we saw previously on this Shar Geek. Um, yeah, this one should be relatively fully charged, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. So you've got everything from like I think that's time, um, all the way up to the current temperature of all the cells and stuff. So yeah, no, this is definitely a very um, nice power bank. So then you just turn it off, you just go push all the way through, hold it down, and that powers it off. And I've actually used this one for school and stuff, and I like this a lot to carry around. So um, this one has a much larger output capacity um, than I believe this one does. So it'll be interesting to try a couple of different devices. So we've done everything from charging um, laptops to et cetera. So something that's commonly, uh, I didn't even finish checking out the other accessories. So we got the standard cable and the standard bag. Nothing out of the ordinary in that front. Um, similar to what we have already for here. Put that back up. Um, so I'm going to charge some drone batteries. So that's what I'm going to show, show you the capability of using this for. Um, and this would be something you would do, for example, if you know I was out flying or something and I needed to recharge some stuff. I think I have a USB. Oh yeah, you can just charge a bunch of things. I don't know if I have a DC in out though. Do we also have a cable to charge it with or no? You're just, okay, you're just supposed to. I was curious if they're gonna give you a DC cable since that's a weird, um, weird thing to do, but. Maybe just because a lot of DC devices have that already. I don't know. I figured that's how they choose to charge it. Anyway, so a couple different devices. I will get my phone charger. You can charge things like parachutes, controllers, drones, stuff like that. Phones. Yeah. So all kinds of things that you can charge up. Um, you got battery info, temp, timer, display, sleep, power off, and exit. 
But yeah, no, all that stuff is pretty cool. You've got much more cells of batteries. So if you look at this slim, they've got larger cells, but they're a little bit, yeah, they've just got a different pair of cells. These each are, uh, they say not for vape. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But um, no, they've got all the different cells there. I believe this one's closer to like one, like 2000 milliamp hours, if I remember correctly. Um, Says max output, max input, 30 watt output. Yeah, it has all the different outputs for everything. So, yeah. Honestly, I think it's a pretty solid, I think it looks pretty cool too, because when people look at that, they're like, wow, that's really cool. Um, you know, and then of course you've got, like, it just looks cool to have that. Anyway, so overall, I think. Compared to the Slim, you get more options to charge out of, which I think is, in its own right, pretty good um, because you've only got two options charged here. This is probably for more devices. If you add, like, I don't know, this was something more you'd take if you were trying to charge multiple devices, like a camera photo shoot, whereas I personally use this for my school uh, whenever my phone dies or my laptop dies and I need to charge it. This ends up working really well. So between the two, I like these a lot because they make a cool statement. They look really cool. Um... But overall, I think these are um, something I'd recommend if you really wanted like something high quality. I haven't had much issues with these, but I do recommend these. These are very fun. They look cool. They raise, people always ask like, "What is that?" Um, it looks really high tech and cool, and I like the design of it. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a wonderful day, and uh, check out the channel for other cool tech-related news, reviews, and uh, videos.